Hello, Peter Detmer, Madison College, Instructor for Automated Manufacturing. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a message instruction on a Control Logics platform. My program here, I'm running RS Logics 5000 version 17. My program is called Consumer on a 1756 L61 processor. As you can see, I got a small program set up here. Uh, very important before you can do the messaging. You have to set up a network connection to the other PLC that you want to get the information from. Now I'm using an Ethernet connection through my network card to the other system, which I called Produce. This is the back pane of the other system. Here is the controller, the processor of the other system. Once you have that established, selecting the message control and configuration is much easier. So here is my message instruction. I'm currently connected with my PLC. I'm online. So I'm just going to demonstrate you a finished configuration of a message instruction. So when you insert the message instruction, you have to give it a name. This is retotal. That's the name of the message instruction. This is not yet a tag you're trying to get or a tag you're trying to write the data to. Once you give this message instruction a name, you click on the dot 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 to see the configuration dialog box. Now in here, depending on what processes you're trying to connect and get the information from, on the message type, you get many options. Now because my um, producing PLC, where I'm getting the information from, is also a control logics platform, I use the CIP data table read message type. You can see if you have a PLC 235, SLIC or other processor including MicroLogix, you can use that particular message type and get information from it. Now this is very helpful if you need to exchange information between MicroLogix, SLIC, PLC 5s, Control Logix or, Compa or Compact Logix processors. Um, here the source element, you have to type in the exact name of the data that you want to get from the other PLC. On the other processor, I have a counter one set up and I want to get the accumulated value. So it's counter underscore one dot ACC. Number of elements. And then if I, um, I need to tell the system where to write this information to. So I'm just pulling from this. Information has to be written, recorded on my processor somewhere. So you can create a new tag on the fly by using this button or use an existing tag you previously set up. Now I have a total underscore ACC underscore count tag set up. And that's what I'm using. Going to the communications tab on the message configuration. There's a path. If you have a valid and working network connection, you can simply click on the Browse button, navigate to the other processor through, in my case, an Ethernet connection, click on the processor, and then it will put the path in as producer PLC, which is the name that I gave this processor. Tag name, there's more information here, which again is just the name for the message instruction. It's not the data I'm getting or the data that I'm recording on my local system. For the path, if you have an Ethernet connection, this is very easy to simply click use a browse button. It's a quick cheat method. Um, if you need to use a traditional method of establishing a path, if you go through another network like ControlNet or um, uh, non-Ethernet connections, you may have to use the traditional method. Um, to understand how that works, be sure to look up uh, tech briefs on, our, uh, on Rockwell Automation's knowledge base. So I'm going to click OK. I'm online. I have a dummy bit set here that controls when this message is updated. I'm going to quickly switch to the other processor. So this is my producer PLC on this network address. You can see this is different configuration. 
there needs to be no network connection set up to the other processor that's getting the information. I simply have to have a network card in it installed and operational. Here I have a counter, which is my counter one, the accumulated value. I'm going to toggle my bit a couple times just to put some value, some counts into my counter. Now I'm going to switch back to my processor with the method instruction that wants to get this accumulated value. So here I'm back at the consumer PLC. Here's my network connection with the method instruction. So you can see that my message name is read total. You can, you can see the uh, uh, description. And what I'm doing is I'm using the total ACC count tag that I set up under my configuration. Okay, total ACC count, that's my destination element that the information is written to that I'm getting from my other processor. So all I'm doing is when I toggle this dummy bit, this is going to get the information from the other processor, write it to this total accumulation count tag, and this instruction will then move it into another uh, temporary destination I just use for uh, demonstration purposes. So let me toggle this dummy bit. You can see it's enabled, done. The value was pulled from the other processor and then moved into this destination tag. This tag property can be a simple base tag. It's basically uh, um, yeah, a local memory. It's not tied to any particular inputs or outputs. It's just a dint to hold the value that's coming from the other processor. Make sure the data type matches of the information that you're getting. However, you can use uh, uh, indifferent uh, data types. Uh, just be aware that uh, you know, if you're pulling a real information or float um, value of a decimal point and write it into a dint, you will lose information like the decimal point values. So that's all I wanted to show you. Here's your message instruction. Be sure to configure it. If anything is wrong on your communications tag, you'll receive errors here that you can reference to look up on Rockwell Automation's uh, tech support knowledge base to troubleshoot it. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you at a different session.